वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी प्ले लिस्ट एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन टाई सेट मैट्रिक्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन हैव टाई सेट मैट्रिक्स अलॉन्ग विद इट्स डेफिनेशन एंड वन एग्जाम्पल इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू हाउ वी कैन फॉर्म ग्राफ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू गिवन सर्किट in that how to identify tie set matrix so entire process that we are deal with to see and at last i'll explain you how we can write kvl equations based on tie set matrix so let us see the question here so if you observe the question here we are deal with to draw tree of the network by considering this b2 b4 and b5 after that i need to form fundamental loop matrix that is tie set matrix and also we are deal with to determine the matrix loop equation from fundamental loop matrix so my dear students here you see branches are also denoted by its name and here we are deal with to form tree from the network so first of all i need to show all the nodes which are there in this circuit so you see here we are having one node so that is node 1 here we are having second node here we are having third node and here we are having node number 4 now my dear students we will be drawing this node and after that i'll show you how to draw graph so i am just considering node position right now so you can observe all four nodes that i have considered over here and now see as per the question we are deal with to draw tree which is having branch b2 b4 and b5 so you can observe b2 that is there in between 1 and 2 so i am connecting branch over here b2 and you can observe b4 that is there in between 2 and 3 so you see here we are having b4 and you can observe b5 that is there in between 2 and 4 so here we are having branch b5 now see this is a tree which is given and see this branches which are there in the tree those are referred as twigs that you should know so let me note down over here here we are having twig those are b2 b4 and b5 now see rest branches those are links and that should be drawn by dashed line so you see this b3 that is there as a link you can observe this b1 which is there in between 1 and 4 that is also link now you see this b6 which is there in between 3 and 4 that is also one link so my dear students for this graph we are having links those are b1 b3 and b6 now what i'll do is i'll explain you how to form fundamental matrix so let me take this graph now see with this graph first of all we can consider direction randomly as you can observe in question we are not given with the direction so if you are not given with the direction you can consider direction randomly for a making of matrix with tie set matrix you need to have direction so i am just considering direction randomly right now and as per the direction whatever calculation will be there that will justify our answer right so you can observe i have considered the direction now first of all i need to make loops of tie set matrix so you should know for tie set matrix loops should have one link and rest twig so if i consider b1 as one link then you see it is forming one loop like this which is having b2 and b5 as twig so i can say here i am having one loop 
and direction of loop that should be there in the direction of link. So direction of loop that should be there in the direction of link. Let us say this is loop 1. Now you see with B6 I should be forming one loop. So you can have one loop over here and direction of loop that is there in the direction of link B6. Let us say this is loop 2. Now if you consider B3 as a link then it is forming one loop over here. So direction of this loop that is there in the direction of B3 link and it is having now B3 link and B2 and B4 twig. So now we have three loops. This is loop 3 and based on that we can have tie set matrix. So when you form tie set matrix vertically you should write loops and those loops should be fundamental loops and horizontally we should write branches. So if you observe with this graph we are having six branches B1 to B6. So let me note down over here. Now my dear students we should be writing fundamental loop matrix that is also referred as tie set matrix. So we need to consider this matrix with respect to loop. So let us consider loop 1 first. So if you see loop 1 in that B1 is the link which is there in the direction of loop. So B1 should be plus 1. B2 is also there in the direction of loop 1. So B2 is also plus 1. But you see B5 that is there in the opposite direction to the direction of loop. So B5 will be minus 1. And B3, B4 and B6 is not connected. So that should be 0. Now let us see what is happening with loop 2. So in loop 2 you see B6 is there in the direction of loop. So B6 will be plus 1. Now you see B5 that is also there in the direction of loop. So B5 will be plus 1. And in loop 2 B4 is there in opposite direction to the loop 2. So B4 is minus 1. And B1, B2, B3 are not connected with loop. So that should be 0. Now let us see what is happening with loop 3. So in loop 3 you see B3 is there in the direction of loop. So that should be plus 1. B4 is there in the direction of loop. So that should be also plus 1. And in loop 3 B2 is there in opposite direction to the direction of loop 3. So that will be minus 1 and B1, B5, B6 are not connected with loop 3. So that will be 0. So this matrix that is tie set matrix or you can say fundamental matrix. Now my dear students you should know the question in which they are asking you that determine the matrix loop equation from fundamental loop matrix. So here we are dealing with to identify matrix loop equations. So in form of matrix loop equations are this fundamental loop matrix into voltages of branches. So let me write this matrix first and see horizontally we are having branches and all the branches are having voltage. Let us say B1 is having voltage V1, B2 is having V2, B3 is having V3, B4 is having V4, B5 is having V5 and B6 is having V6. So this tie set matrix into voltage that should be equals to 0 that is how we can have equations. So if you do this multiplication then you will be having three equations as per three row. So first equation that will be V1 plus V2 minus V5 that is equals to 0. And you can see second equation will be minus V4 plus V5 plus V6 and third equation that will be minus V2 plus V3 plus V4. So that is how we can have voltage equations. Now here by graph theory we can say that is how voltages are there. Right. But separately you should know how voltages are there. And based on that you will have to substitute the values. But here we are not dealing with to calculate that as we already know KVL and all those equations. Here only thing is you should know how to identify matrix which are there in form of 
fundamental loop matrix and based on that we can have equations right so i think now it is clear to you how we can form tie set matrix and based on that how to write kvl equations there will be many more examples so don't worry about this you will get to know things in 100% resolution after watching my playlist of network theory thank you so much for watching this video